Hello learners, I welcome all the students at NIOS studio. Myself Dr. Alok Kumar Upadhyay, Reader in Special Education, All India Institute of Speech and Hearing, Mysore. Today I will discuss with all of you one topic, the name is Assistive Devices for Speech and Hearing Impairment and Role of the Teacher. So, as you are seeing the topic name is Assistive Devices. So, one thing come in the picture or in the mind, assistive devices means the device which will help that is the assistive devices. So, now let us be proceed to this topic. The assistive devices, the term assistive devices can refer to any device that help a person with hearing loss or a voice, speech or language disorder to communicate. Because our topic is restricted to speech and hearing impairment, so we can say assistive devices are those devices which can help a person with hearing loss or a voice or a speech or language disorder to communicate. So, how to communicate in between communication with the person with hearing impairment or speech impairment to others, one device or more device which are help are known as assistive devices. These terms often refer to devices that help a person to hear, understand what is being said more clearly or to express thoughts more easily. We know the two term, one is receiving, second is expressing. When we are listening, then we are going through by the receiving and when we are saying something means the expression is going on. So, these assistive devices always help a person to hear means to receive something or understand something and these devices may can help when we are expressing ourselves if we have a problem in speech. So, this is known as assistive device or assistive devices. Now, we should discuss about the assistive devices, assistive devices means assistive devices is looks like a one word, but these devices are the different types. So, what are those types? Generally, we can divide these assistive devices in three types. One is assistive listening devices, in abbreviation we can say ALDs. The second one is known as augmentative and alternative communication devices in abbreviation we can say AAC and by AAC these devices are more popular. And the third one devices that can help that is known as alerting devices. Assisting listening devices as by name it is for receiving purpose, it helps us to receive something, to hear something. The second one augmentative and alternative communication devices always used to express when we want to communicate to other and we have a difficulty to express ourselves then we use AAC devices. Alerting devices is always devices which alert us ki what is going to happen. For that purpose which devices we use those are known as alerting devices. Now, one by one we will discuss each one type of the assistive devices. So, the first one assistive listening devices, why these uh, listening devices we can amplify or improve sound transmission for people with hearing loss especially where there is a lot of background noise. By this assistive devices, listening assistive devices we can amplify or improve sound transmission for those people who has some problem or some difficulty in hearing or listening. So, by this de devices they can hear and these devices will also give the facility to reduce background noise as we all know that in environment whatever we are listening apart from those sounds other sounds are also going on. But we are very careful listener, so we listen whatever we want to listen and other noises are going on. But for persons with disabilities or children with disabilities, 
they will also listen other noises which are in environment. So, these assistive devices help to listen the whatever they want to listen and they also listen the background noise. Some are designed for and in this uh, listening devices, some devices are for large facility purpose or large purpose means not only one person more than one person in one time can avail the facility for these assistive listening devices. So, for example, these are known as hearing loop system, frequency modulated means FM system and infrared system. All these systems we can use in a big hall, airport or any place in a seminar hall and so many people can avail the facility or can avail the device for the listening purpose in one time. And some listening devices are a individual purpose. So, one to one conversation purpose those are the devices means that are the individual devices. Under this uh, uh, some devices as you know hearing aid or different type of hearing aid come as a assistive listening devices for personal use purpose. All these uh, devices can be used with or without hearing aid or a cochlear implant these are the specialities. The next one is known as or the next type of listening assistive devices is known as augmentative and alternative communication devices. In short we know very much about the AAC these are also very important devices. These devices use for communication purpose, expression purpose if we are facing problem to say something and we want to communicate then we can use these type of augmentative and alternative communication devices. These devices help with communication disorder to express themselves. These devices can range from simple picture board to a computer program that synthesizes speech from text. So, these devices has also a very wide range. A simple picture card can also come as a augmentative and alternative communication devices. As we have a picture card or picture board, if someone wants to tea, to drink a tea, but the person is or the child is not able to express, then the child will show the picture card. In the picture, the tea cup is there with the tea. So, if the child will show that picture card, then the other person automatically understand that the child is asking for tea. So, this is the way of alternate communication or express someone and this is the very simple example. In a picture board several things are there and those things whatever you want to express or a person with speech impairment want to say or communicate, he will put the tick or to show the hand or the finger on that uh, particular area then the other person will think what child will ask. This is the simple way in alternative and augmentative communication. It is starting from this simple way it is going to computer program In now in the days of computer we have so many softwares that can synthesize speech from text. So, something is written there, but by that software it uh, the computer speaker will speak what is written there. So, so person who has a problem to uh, in speech something or to say something can type in the computer and after typing computer will automatically by that speaker the speech will come out. So, by this alternative way we can communicate with the others. So, this is also a good example for alternative and augmentative communication devices for express. The simplest AAC device is a picture board or touch screen that uses picture or a symbols of the typical items and activities that make a person's daily life. For daily life purpose, we can use these AAC devices. If we have a touch screen mobile type of equipment, so if the equipment with us and so many type of uh, things are putting there as a communication, uh, communication words. So, whenever we will go to outside, we will use that particular equipment, we will touch that particular thing and the th after seeing or that uh, mobile will change the, uh, the text to the 
speech so other person will understand easily so we can use these things in a person's daily life or day to day life many picture board can be customized or expanded based on person's age education occupation and interest so many picture boards can be can customized or expanded based on person's age education occupation and interest if we will do like that then there is no need for putting all these things whatever is necessary for that particular age or for that education level or for that occupation level or for the interest only all those things will come in the picture board other thing will be removed so this is also a good way keyboard touch screen and sometimes a person's limited speech may be used to communicate desired words spelling and word prediction software can make it faster and easier to enter information A speech generating device go one step further by translating words or picture into speech we have such type of devices nowadays we have such type of advanced devices that can generate speech so if something words we can write or something a picture we will click then automatically it will change to the speech so it will be very helpful in day to day life or it will be very helpful to communicate with others maybe in uh, functional purpose maybe for academic purpose some devices employ a vocabulary of pre recorded words while others have an unlimited vocabulary synthesizing speech as words are typed in software program that convert personal computer into speaking devices are also available so we can avail these facilities for the uh, communication purpose now we come on the third type of assistive devices these are known as alerting devices alerting devices are also very important alerting or alarm devices use sound light vibration or a combination of these techniques to let someone know when particular event is occurring so in alerting or alarm devices we can use sound we can also use the light or vibration or combination of these techniques whatever is necessary for that particular situation or for that person all those things we can use or include in this alerting devices by which we get to know what will happen in the next second clocks and wake up alarm system allow a person to choose to wake up to flashing lights horns or a gentle shaking visual alert singlers monitor a variety of household devices and other sounds such as doorbells and telephones in addition remote receivers placed around the house can alert a person from any room portable vibrating pagers can let parents and caretakers know when a baby is crying a baby is crying and parents is not able to hear or they have a hearing difficulty so they can use these type of portable vibrating pagers by which they can they get to know the child is crying or child is uh, hungry or uh, whatever situation is there but by the help of these portable vibrating pagers they get to know what is the problem what is the thing is going on some baby monitoring device analyze a baby's cry we have some advanced type of devices by which we can analyze this is a baby cry and a light up a picture to indicate if the baby sound hungry bored or the sleepy so all these emotions can be find out through the type of alerting devices now the question come how we will be aware to the childs or the parents about these assistive devices so here the teacher role is very crucial very important because all devices are there but if someone who has a difficulty do not know what devices are there for the facility purpose or for enhancing the speech or hearing purpose how a child or the parents will use it so here the role of teacher come in picture so teacher must be a good planner so that the things could be carried out systematically so it is the duty of the teacher that he will plan all these things when he will use 
the different type of the assistive devices or how the teacher will tell to the parents which devices are important for the child purpose or for their purpose and why these are very important not only the importance but teacher will also make a plan that they will do these activities then the child and the parents will use more and more these assistive devices. It should be the duty of teacher to give more and more opportunity to the child. Only the knowledge of assistive devices are not sufficient or not enough, but how to use these assistive devices are more important for that purpose the teacher role is very important. Teacher will give more and more opportunities to use the alternative communication devices or for uh, listening devices or for uh, alerting devices. If the teacher will give more opportunities, the child will be habitual to use these type of devices. Teacher should act as a innovator by introducing some innovative program. Innovative program means child will, uh, teacher will start uh, or initiate a playway activities. In those playway activities, teacher will use more assistive devices. So, the more use of those uh, devices will be there with the child's or with the children. So, the uh, children will learn about the devices, they will be ready to use those devices and after doing all these things in day to day life, it will be very beneficial, very important for the child's life for speech and hearing purpose. Now we will summarize the topic what we already covered. So, in big this topic was uh, focused on speech and hearing impairment children or children with speech and hearing impairment for assistive devices. So, in this topic we discussed about assistive devices and we discussed about the types of assistive devices. There are three types of assistive devices. One is listening assistive devices, second one is uh, augmentative and alternative communication uh, devices and third one is alerting devices. And uh, which devices comes under each type of devices we also discussed all those things and not only the knowledge of all these devices, but the uh, role of teacher, how the teacher will enhance or how the teacher will uh, aware the parents about those devices and day to day and the use in day to day life of the child about these devices, all these things be discussed in this topic. So, after doing this thing, I will I would like to say thank you, thank you very much.